Hey, this is Jeff and we are here with USP Pro. In this video we will look at custom post statuses, stat i or status or whatever you want to call it. We are going to look at that in this video. So let's get started. Here we have USP Pro installed and activated. So before getting started we want to consult the reference here at Plugin Planet. And here is a tutorial about custom post status. First, the global or default post status is available under the general USP settings. So let's take a look at that first. We go to USP Pro settings, and it, it is in fact the first setting that the plugin provides here, default post status. This can be overridden per form, and we can get a link directly to the tutorial right there. So always moderate, publish immediately, or publish after a specific number of posts. Lots of options here. So you can set that to be whatever post status you would like, and if you have a custom post status, you can enable that there, and then type it in here. And if your theme supports it, then the custom post status will be used for all submitted posts. But we, we're not gonna worry about the default setting right now, because that's pretty straightforward. What we want to do is do a local perform post status, and this is how we override the default or global setting. So the first thing, on the edit form screen, we scroll down to the custom fields panel. So let's do that. Let's create a new form and call this custom post status publish. And then let's add a couple of fields. If this were an actual form, you could add whatever fields you would like, but we're going to keep it simple for this uh, video. And then here is the custom fields panel. So we're here. And then it says there, define a new custom field named USP post status. So let's copy that. We want to create a new custom field named post status. And then it says, give the custom field a value corresponding to the desired post status. So this is what we want it to look like, but we can use our own status here. And here's a list here. So we can specify the status as future, password, private, custom, pending, draft, publish, and so forth. For this, let's call it pending. So we use dash two. We enter dash two, add the custom field and then save the changes. And that's all there is to it. You can refer to this article for more information, but we're gonna go ahead and just continue by viewing the form on the front end. And now this form will submit not as the default draft status, but as pending status, because we used uh, dash two here, pending. So let's submit a test post and see how it goes. We'll call it test post two. We will say lorem ipsum delore for the content. We submit. And here we go into the post page. Here is our new post. And what is the status? Pending. So now we have a pending post instead of a draft status. And if we wanted to, we could pick a different status. Let's automatically publish by entering zero. So we go back to the custom post status form and enter zero here. Update, update the form, refresh the form page, and let's submit a published post. Like so. Here is our published post, and as you can see, it is published, status published. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Again, refer to this tutorial for more information, and have fun setting custom post statuses with USP Pro. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more.